good morning to everyone today's lecture i am going to take from the electrical machines the topic is uh, transformer so before going to the topic just i would like to what the content we are going to discuss today is what is transformer and what is the purpose of the transformer and the construction details of the transformer so first i would like to share the definitions about the transformer what is transformer so transformer is coming under one category of electrical machines that is uh, basically we all know in the previous classes uh, the different types of electrical machines normally the electrical machines are classified according to uh, the power supply we have uh, ac and uh, dc machines and based on the energy conversion we have generator and motor and based on the motion we can say uh, one is rotary machine and another is a static machine so this transformer is coming under the this category that is static machine so now i let me give you the definition about the transformer transformer is a static machine which transfer the power from one circuit to the another circuit without changing the frequency so uh, from this slides you can see that the transformer is a static machine so it is energy it is not energy conversion towards yes it just transfer the power from one uh, circuit or one end to the another end without changing their frequency this is about the transformer definitions and what is the uh, purpose what it why it is required because it's so normally Uh, for uh, we are how we are getting power supply uh, to our uh, customer so the power is transferred normally we are getting electrical power from a generating stations so look at the uh, picture in this uh, slide you it has it, it depicts the single line diagram of our uh, simple power system okay so here it shows the one is generating station and another the consumer we are uh, the consumer how we are getting the power from the generating stations with the help of generator we are generating power and if i want to get the electrical power for my house i need to transmit the power through the uh, conductor so that is transmission lines so normally we all know the basics of uh, the conductors how to select the size of the conductors and length of the conductors it is normally it is far away from us the generating stations so So when I am uh, transferring the power, electric power, uh, from the generating station to the consumer, I need the size of the conductor uh, is man, its larger size is required. Why? Because because the resistance uh, play a role. Uh, some uh, why? Because the resistance of the conductor is directly proportional to the length, and it is inversely proportional to the cross-sectional area. So normally, what I have told uh, the uh, generating station is far away. So we need to transmit for a longer distance i need to use the transmission line length is longer correct so what we uh, the resistance of the wire will increase at the same time i want to reduce the resistance uh, i have a chance to reduce by increasing the size of the conductor when i am increasing the size is it very difficult to give the supports for the transmission line that is the mechanical support structure is higher that is why in between we are going to use one more machine that is our static machine transformer with the help of transformer uh, by we can increase the voltage when i am increasing the voltage with the reduced size of the conductor can be adapted for using the transmission so that is the advantages so when i want to increase the voltage uh, if i increase the voltage then we can use the size of the conductor as h uh, so for that purpose we need another machine that is called the transformer normally we use so in between these uh, consumer and the generating stations so we have the two uh, category of uh, system is there one is the transmission system and another is the distribution that is the topic beyond the content uh, of today's topic but why it is required this transformer is required for that i am explaining so now uh, this is the purpose so with the help of a transformer we can able to uh, step up or step down the voltage okay it is uh, essentially required for 
the transmission and distribution system. Okay. Now let me go on, move on to the uh, the third one is there is constructional details of the transformer. So this picture is also the same uh, from power plant how we are getting one is high voltage we are increasing high voltage when we are increasing high voltage then there is no problem of uh, the conductor size we can use the minimize the size so it is enough for transferring the same power from the jetting station to the distribution station and then again from the distribution station we can able to get the power so this is the, the purpose on all the places we are using uh, transformer in a substations so this is the the construction details so before the transformer before going to the construction just i would like to share the what uh, is the principle how the transformer is going to work it is based on the paradise law of electromagnetic induction so whenever a uh, change in flux uh, in a conductor happens then what will happen an emf is induced in that conductor this is what the uh, the principle you have already studied here okay so the for which we need one is uh, the conductor another is the core so so what we uh, use it is the core is normally made up of uh, we have the uh, iron material normally we use the iron material is used, is a, uh, used by a core and also we are uh, mixing with the steel silicon steels are used normally for making the core so according to the core type we have the two type of uh, transformer that we see later okay and another is one other major power component is uh, windings normally we use the copper coil as used as a winding for the transformer so here you can see that uh, if the core is normally this is a and uh, some of the accessories are also needed the major components major parts of the transformer is one is core another is winding okay so the core is connected in some fashion accordingly we can have the different classifications okay and some a kind of accessories for protecting the transformer are also needed so let me discuss one by one okay first we will move on to the core transformer core uh, it has the two types one is uh, core type construction and another is a cell type construction in the core type construction uh, you can see uh, in this slide so you have uh, for a single phase and three phase transformer we are having a, a single laminated steel sheets are uh, used for making the core similarly it is connected in some fashion so that is called a core type and another is shell type in the core type the normally the core is covered by the winding okay uh, visually we can able to verify it yes the core limbs uh, the core the coils are placed in the core limb the winding is covered with the core covered the core so it is called a core type and another is a shell type transformer here uh, the core is covered the windings so both uh, uh, normally in transformers we are going to use the two type of windings so one is a primary winding another is secondary winding uh, both the windings are placed in the same central limb uh, in shell type construction so this is about the uh, transformer uh, core construction so how the core is made up of you can see in this uh, picture in this slides we have the different type of laminations normally used for making the core okay so you can see the e type laminations these are all the uh, silicon steel sheets okay uh, laminated silicon steel sheets are normally used we can call it as a lamination or stampings we can say so this is about uh, e type lamination another is i type laminations or e and e laminations can be used for making the shell type core and another is the core type if we are using l type laminations or we can use u and i laminations are used for making the core type construction all the these thin sheets are uh, stamped together and we can uh, and it is riveted then we can make it as a core so this is about the uh, different type of laminations what type of laminations are used for a transformer core so this is the, the same uh, different uh, uh, pictures how the windings are placed in the transformer core this is about uh, the windings normally used in a transformer so normally we can have a uh, different type of farmers either uh, we can use a copper coil uh, copper wire can be used or a flat according to the capacity of the transformer it changes okay for both uh, partial type arrangements we are using a 
both HP winding or the LV winding. According to the primary and secondary winding, uh, we can call it as another way high HP winding, that is high voltage winding or low voltage winding. Okay? The primary and the secondary is depends upon how we are giving the power supply. When we are giving the input power to the winding, that winding is called the primary winding. And another is we are connecting some load in the uh, secondary end, that is called the secondary winding. Okay? So, out of which, uh, some of the accessories are also uh, used in the transformer. They, it is very important for uh, protection of, for protecting the transformer while operating. While operating, okay. So one is conservator tank, and another is breather, HV winding, and sorry, HV bushing and LV bushings are also needed, and transformer oil, then cooling fins and explosion fins. These are all the minimum. Uh, there are many accessories are there. Based upon the type of transformer we can uh, use it. So these are all the essential accessories normally used in a every transformer. So the conservator tank, uh, the purpose of this conservator tank is to, uh, it can be used for, uh, it is uh, through this conservator tank, it, uh, oil level can be measured. And the conservator tank is half filled. Uh, because the inside the transformer uh, tank we have a, a core uh, and winding is there. Inside the transformer, you filled with the transformer oil. This transformer oil is another oil. It can be used for uh, you know, the cooling purpose as well as the uh, insulation. That is isolation between the primary and secondary winding. Because the primary winding and secondary windings are electrically disconnected. Okay, it is magnetically coupled with the help of the iron core. And another is breather. Breather is a very important accessory. Uh, because for cooling of the time while during operating uh, the functioning the transformer uh, based upon the load uh, the secondary winding may be taking larger current by which the heat may be produced that can be minimized with the help of a transformer oil and also it is the oil is also circulating around the tank uh, with the help of air uh, so the, the cooling pins can be uh, ready to the heat outward so we need a and also we pass the air uh, through the uh, through the conservator tank to the tank, uh, transformer tank. So this uh, air can be entering uh, through the breather only. So the breather, uh, by the name itself, we can able to understand the breather. It is uh, the transformer is uh, breathing towards this breather, and inside the breather we have uh, some chemicals. The silica gel is there to absorb the moisture content in the uh, air present. And another is uh, important accessory is HP and LV bushings. So the transformer windings are found inside the core and the terminal end, the terminals of the transformer can be taken out with the help of the bushings. So the bushings normally we have uh, HP and LV bushings are there. Uh, it is the main purpose of these uh, bushings are to uh, giving supply to the transformer uh, through the HP bushings if it is a primary and uh, taking out the uh, output voltage from the LV bushings if it is a secondary. Then. Uh, that is the main purpose of this uh, LB, uh, HP and LB bushings. Oil, already I have told the, uh, uh, it has a good direct extent of um, mineral oil can be used for uh, cooling as well as the insulation between the winding and the tank. Yes. So this is the very purpose and it, it absorbs the heat and it can radiate through the cooling fins or cooling tubes can be used. Cooling fins are nothing but the external mechanical uh, fin like structure or a, maybe a tube like structure in the outer periphery of the tank. This cooling, uh, the tank oil can be circulated through these cooling fins and or uh, it may be a cooling tube means uh, the oil can be circulated through the tube or fins so by which the heat absorbed by the oil can be radiated outward. So that is the purpose of this kind of cooling fins. And the next one is, it is very, uh, another is uh, to for protection of a transformer is explosion vent. So for explosion vent, uh, this is for the worst case conditions. If the suppose uh, unexpected accidents or any kind of uh, abnormalities occurs in the transformer, that means it may absorb any short circuit occurs. What will happen? The uh, winding gets very much heated up. An enormous amount of heat can be produced, so the oil can be expanded uh, huge. In such a situations, the transformer may uh, explode sometimes. So in that kind of uh, situations, these explosion vents open up. 
and uh, the oil may be if it is a transformer burst means the oil may be spilled out uh, in the nearby areas it may affect the people around the transformer so to avoid that uh, this kind of explosion vent is provided in the transformer so these are all the uh, some of kind of accessories normally used in a uh, transformer so with this i would like to wind up today's uh, sessions Thank you.